Hey, hey, welcome to Weld.com. I have the man cub with me today. He, uh, we recently did a, an unboxing of the Rebel 285, and he asked me a question about one of the parameters that we haven't gotten into, and we're going to do some more on the, the uh, constant current stick welding, shielded metal arc welding side of this, and your question was arc force. Yes, sir. Got two things in here on the parameter settings for stick. We have hot start and we have arc force. So we want to talk about that today. And you were, you, you know, various manufacturers, you call it dig and stuff like that. And it shows an icon on there. Okay. We're going to go through and, and adjust this. We're going to have it down real low. We'll do one root. Both of these, uh, we have some 3 8 plate beveled at 30. Uh, one of them has a slightly thicker root face on it. We'll save that for when we turn the arc force oh, up. Okay. Maybe we'll see a noticeable difference in probably the keyhole. But one thing you will notice is, I mean, higher arc force to me, my personal preference is I like to use it for digging on 6010. Oh, okay. Okay, have you ever been running a, a 7018 fill pass or a cap and you're welding long mining your own business? Everything is going good and all of a sudden the whole pool just explodes or you notice you'll get on a machine and it's it, it sounds real crackly or mm -hmm. crispy or something. Mm -hmm. It probably has a high arc force set mm -hmm. in it. Gotcha. And, and so you really don't want that. For me, I like 7018 to run nice and smooth and soft. All right. So uh, awesome. Anyway, let's get our hoods on. And we'll go send it through some parameter sets here. We'll run both routes uphill. All right. And this one I know has a little bit tighter. I looked at it. Let's get our hoods on. Let's go to work. All right. I'm going to run both of these routes at 85 um, so, that, so that that part of it doesn't change. That'll be on the 6010 part of it. So the first thing we need to do is come up here to the parameters. All right. Okay. And we have arc force right now set at 10 percent you know we could change that and do anything we want right now we're mm. going to run one of them at 10 and i guess we'll turn the other one at up to 100 or 90 or something way high way different than this all right so we like that the other parameter set or in here is we have the 6010 6011 or cellulose rods all other mm. rods so when we go back to do our 7018 we need to make sure that we come back to the and set that correctly as well. All right. Okay. Yep. All right. Machine always defaults electrically cold. I already have it on 85 amps open circuit voltage. We're ready to go. So at 85 amps, <clears throat> I mean, I noticed it, it just looked kind of normal, soft keyhole right around the rod. wasn't It wasn't overly violent, right. and it felt like I was getting through the whole way up. A little heavier down here on the start, but it was pretty consistent. It has reinforcement. Now, without doing anything, changing, you know, our, we're, we've got basically the same root opening. I know that this one has slightly thicker root face. All right. So basically, it's it's this it's pretty much the same. But let's change the arc force to a real high number. Let's just turn it up to a hundred percent and see what happens. Hundred percent. You want to do that or? Yeah. So come ahead. up here. Yep. Parameter. Push it. Push in. Scroll over. All right. One more. Push that. Now you can change the value. So you said a one hundred is a good. Oh dog. yeah. What's 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 a hundred percent amongst friends? 
on arc force. Just crank that baby way up there. Now push it again. All right. Okay, now that's set and we're ready to go. Let's run this route and see if you notice anything visually and, and I'm thinking it's gonna be violent. I think I'm gonna notice something as far as the tone of it. What'd you hear? I mean, obviously we have the fume extractor going on. going on, but yeah. it, you know, right away I noticed a different tone. Yeah, it was more sharp, uh, crispier, that louder. Yeah, 6010. And I noticed it was digging in real good too into the plate. Right. You know, to me this, you know, when I got to welding it, it, it actually it looked like it was a little tighter gap. Mm -hmm. And I know it had the thicker root face on it, mm -hmm. but what happened to me? I mean, I was able to kind of. You saw me kind of working that a little bit. Yeah. I just, it, to me, it looked like it's just digging into the bevel face. Yeah. Getting... And then I came back and to the bottom just a little bit. It's just, it was subtle, but I know. We, I mean, you noticed it. I noticed yeah. it. Yeah. And of course, the camera guy's on the backside and he's filming it, and we got a little more reinforcement. I mean, that thing busted through. Yeah, that's good. So you know, keeping that in mind, you'd probably you if you had that available to you. And you know what it was going to do, and you could you trusted it. You could you could turn that up a little bit and really crank something in there. The other thing, think about downhill roots. All right. Okay, you like a tight gap. We're going to run it hot and fast. You can crank that stuff up and stick it in there and mm. really go. And then downhill hot pass. I don't like to grind down to pure white metal. I don't. Well, uh, why don't you grind? I don't down, I don't grind it down to pure white metal. I'll knock the top of it off, mm -hmm. blend my starts and stops, mm -hmm. leave the wagon tracks in there because I'm going to gouge all that out anyway. You you run that in there and, and and gouge it out, and then you lift up just a little bit and work it a little bit, and all that slag comes to the top, and your bead lays flat. Wow. I mean that's just my personal way of running hot and fast on downhill on piping stuff. So. Now we could come in here and run these out. We'll clean these out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we could probably lay these flat and have the camera guy show some, a difference in the arc force. But we need to get to the point where we're running some 7018. We'll, we'll turn it up real high. We'll leave the arc force up real high. All right. And you'll hear that to me is gonna be nasty because that's not the way I like to run 7018. You'll notice it. You know, and it may snap and pop, and right. we'll turn it down real low, and you'll see a difference in how it runs. So let's, the first thing we need to do is clean these out with the grinder. All right. So <clears throat> we ran a quick hot pass in here just to get rid of the wagon tracks, flatten it out a little bit, because I wanted to get to this point for you. And I want you to run, uh, Two rods, right. 332, 7018. Do you like 85 amps? Yeah. Do you like 80, 85? Okay. This first rod, remember, the arc force is still set at 100%. All right. Okay. And you, you probably you haven't seen this before? No, I haven't seen it okay. before. Okay. Then what, what I expect to happen, mm -hmm. um, I expect it to sound kind of crackly, crispy and get that like hard arc. All right. So when you strike up, you're probably gonna go, wow, this is different, this is weird. So 
See if you notice it, and hopefully we'll pick it up on audio as well. Oh yeah, I already hearing it. More spatter. A lot of spatter. Yeah. But the puddles popping on me. To me, that just sounds rank. Yeah. I mean, stay with it. Keep running it. Because we want to... And it's kind of digging and gouging out in front, isn't it? Yeah, it's eating the side of the bevel up. And you're keeping a short arc. Yeah. If you need to. Yeah, I'm jamming the rod in and keep eating good. Side of the bevel. Looks like you're eating up a bunch of rod, too. Stop. Oh, yeah. Stop. To me, it, I mean, it made me uncomfortable listening to it. <laughs> I know you were kind of, you was weren't necessarily fighting it, but it was like digging and snapping. Yeah, it was different. I was learning. Okay. That was different. So now I want to take this and go to parameters, scroll across, and I want to get rid of this. So I want to take it back down to like the 10% where we ran that route. Yeah. Just as kind of a baseline. We didn't go to any number actually, but we're, we went 10 and 100 on the route. We, now I'm going 100 and we'll go back to 10 on this last rod right. here. And I expect this thing to run smooth and soft and quiet is what I expect to see. So let's see what you get out of it. You tell me. Consuming much rod, less batter. Man, uh, you know, I know we got noise going on from the fume extractor and the and the machine and everything. To me, it just sounded way quieter. Oh yeah, it sounded like it was supposed to. No, it just to me, it's like I'm, I'm confident with when I hear that, and it looked like you didn't have to fight it. Your bead looks a lot smoother. It didn't look like it was digging on the sides, wasn't and digging. I didn't notice any hard spatter trying to fly out of there. Either. And my rod wasn't consuming as fast either. No. Oh, running like it's almost like he turned it down. Yeah. So you can couple that with amperage and make some adjustments and kind of fine tune your machine. There's a lot of there's a lot of people say, oh, you have to run at 83 amps or 87 amps or something. Man, you know, treat the weld what the weld needs. All uh, right. And then know that you have, the, you know, in this machine here, you have that extra little feature in there. If you need some dig, you need a dig and gouge, turn that arc force up and stab it in there because it'll, it'll react. I mean, you, you saw it and you heard it, so. Oh, yeah. Learned a lot. Cool little machine. Thanks for subscribing to Weld.com. Please take current and on uh, Instagram and Facebook as well. Thank you very much for watching Weld.com. Man Cub, you gonna tell the world anything? You learned a little bit today? Oh, I learned a lot, guys. There you go. I mean, Weld.com is teaching me a lot of stuff. I learned a lot about dig, using it with 7018 and 6010, understanding the difference. Um, I appreciate it, Bob. I learned, yeah. I learned a lot, sir. What's dig? I thought we were calling it arc force. Oh, excuse me, arc force. I was just making sure you're paying attention. <laughs> I'm paying attention. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Man, it looks like I've seen worse. No, I'm just joking. Hey, that was a left-handed route. A left-handed hot pass. You gonna weld right-handed now? <laughs> I'm just joking. God. <laughs> What'd you call me? I said you're very nice, Mr. Bob. I'll try to be, you bet. <laughs> I did do it on purpose. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Bullshit. And sir. I couldn't get a good comeback. I'm sure one of our I'm not fast as viewers, you. Or one of our esteemed viewers is going to come back with a good comeback there.